Alrighty guys, I got my new toy in. Um, I got my laser pointer in, and I got this little setup here made. This is uh, part of my little Kinex crane project. This was going to be the uh, little counterweight holder, so I can stick just about any counterweight I want in there. Um, got the black tape. I'm just basically using it to hang a little strip of black tape there. Uh, this is what you guys are here for, not the crappy contraptions I made out of Kinex and, and uh, Erector set. It's my little laser round. Anyway, this is the laser. Supposedly 230 milliwatts. Really high quality housing. Got a key ignition. I'm not going to turn the key because right now i got the button taped down. It's got like a little push button right here. I got taped down for the fact of uh, being able to you know, just set it here. Use the key as, a key as a toggle switch and just have it focused at one point for an extended period of time. It is actually indeed focusable with this little ring right here. The laser box itself is quite amazing. Hey, none of that. Pretty amazing. It's got this really high quality, high density foam here. It even came with the battery. I wasn't expecting that at all. I was expecting to use one of my, uh, my 18650 batteries, which I had laying around. But that wasn't that, that wasn't necessary because I came with one, which is a good thing because for whatever reason my charger doesn't want to charge my batteries. That's where the uh, the end cap was. That's where the keys were, and of course that's where the laser was. Now, let's see this thing fire up. So let's turn this ignition on. Well, it's going to require two hands because the whole laser wants to rotate. And we have ignition. Oh, geez, that's bright. It's nice and bright, causes a little bit of smoke. But as you can see, it just does not want to burn through. I've let it sit there for like five minutes. It'll give off a little puff of smoke and then it'll just slow down and not do much much else smoking. Kind of like how it is right now. I don't know if it's a particular brand of tape I'm using or what, but yeah. I highly doubt this is actually 230 milliwatts. I've seen 50 milliwatt while these just perform better than this. But, mm, whatever. I'll mess around with the focus and see if that does anything. Also, the beam is not as visible as I was expecting. Uh, from what I hear, you should be able to see the beam quite clearly during the day with the 230, 200 milliwatt plus laser. Overall, the build, the build quality, amazing. Great came with battery and little accessory here and there. Um, the keys was kind of an unexpected thing. I was the keys themselves are I mean there are the ignition is all right but the keys themselves are kind of cheap so that was kind of surprised to me. Uh, as you can see, I can just let's sit there for a while. It does nothing. Just you know, really bright, smoldering piece of plastic it doesn't do anything else than that. So I'll probably be doing some research on this, seeing if I should pop mod this to bring it up to spec. I how is it possible to see? the output of these things because I want this thing to perform like it should. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Anyway, that's my new toy. Cool little gadget, but 44 bucks for something that's not quite as functional as it should be. A little disappointed. Hope you guys enjoyed. Dan out.